What's up everyone, Music Beats here and today we're going to talk about how you can improve your beat for 2023. Let's not waste too much time, let's get right into the video. Now before we can talk about how you can improve your beat, we have to find out what the process or what improving means. Improving basically means just getting better. Now personally, I believe that the best way to improve your beat or the best way to get better is to acquire the knowledge or the skills that will get you to be able to do that. Now I believe there are two main ways you can acquire knowledge. Knowledge can be acquired with time or knowledge can be acquired through money or paying for it. Now first of all, let's break down how we can acquire knowledge with time. Acquiring knowledge with time is what we basically do already or what 95 well, I want to say may, maybe even 80% of producers do already. Basically what we do is we go on YouTube and all we do is search up how to make a Juice World type beat or how to tune my 808s or how to make a Polo G type beat and you watch beat makers or producers I don't like to call I don't like to call them YouTube producers because they're just producers regardless or you watch YouTube creators yeah create video on those specific type of topics that you want to watch and then after that you try to go implement the knowledge that they just taught you and you try to put it into your own beats. So for example of creators could be me, myself of course, but if I'm not talking about myself, some of my favorite beat makers or tutorial based creators are include my favorite, my favorite right now is Bro Beats. Bro Beats is one of my favorite. I love Try Freezy. KBZ, even though he hasn't posted in a while, he's great too. And also, I like our beats. Our beats and J Cactus, they're dope too. But then there are a bunch of other um, tutorial creators that I've mentioned that are also great, but everyone just has their own preferences. So if you want to improve your beats for 2023, I suggest that you closely watch some of these producers on YouTube. And then after that, you copy what they're doing with the beats. Or when they're making a melody, you try to copy the melody to the exact T. When they're making drums, you try to copy the drums. Like, let's say they have a hi-hat roll somewhere, you try to copy that hi-hat roll. Or they put a perk somewhere, you try to copy where they place that perk. After you've successfully copied that, you can make your own variation of it. So that's what I personally did to get better. I used to watch Bro Beats all the time. And then after I watched Bro Beats, I would do exactly what he did. If he put a perk on a certain part, I'll put a perk there. If I put an 808 on a certain section, I'll put my 808 there too. And then I made my own variations, which I used to do. If you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to like. This will help the algorithm recommend my videos to other people and this knowledge can be shared to other people too. Now for me, the best way to improve your beats and it's something that I've just recently started doing myself too, is through the process of paying for knowledge. Now why paying for knowledge is better than gaining free knowledge is because you are basically paying to hear someone's experience and they get straight to the point. For example, I'm a big Chambers fan. I love Chambers. I've been watching this video, his videos for like almost like a year or two now. But when I paid for his course on chambersmixter.com it opened another level for me my beats personally went from sounding pretty mid to sounding pretty great in my opinion and now when i try dm artists and i try to sell my beats to them they like them better because chambers gave me a template i can follow to make my beats i think courses if you really want to improve and you want to improve fast i think courses can be are the way to go one of my favorite content creators right now alex Momozi, has stated many many times that if you really want to improve at something or uh, if you really want to make what you do full time, the best way to do it is to live off of very little and pay for as many courses as possible so that you can acquire the knowledge. So personally, what I'm going to do in 2023, I'm going to pay for a bunch of courses. Uh, I, I paid for Chambers course. I might pay for Chambers course again because uh, it's only $50 a month and I want to pay for next month too so that I can gain more knowledge. And also, I want to try pay for Simon Savita's course and uh, Jay Cactus's course. Or there's that producer. What's his name? What's that homie's name? I can't believe I forgot his name. Kato. Kato. I want to pay for Kato's course. And also, not only do I want to not, wanna, not only do I want to pay for courses on beat making alone, I also want to look into courses that also talk about things like selling beats or how to sell kits or how to play instruments because I, I I recently bought a guitar no you can't see I recently bought a guitar uh, let, me, let me open this word too I recently bought a guitar beautiful I want to learn how to play it so that I can do more collabs with you guys make you guys melody kits and stuff like that that's what I'm personally doing and that's how I'm gearing up for 2023 that would be my main way of improving I will pay for the, I'll pay for the knowledge and I'll pay for these experienced producers to tell me what they know so that not only can my beats get better and I can also show you guys new things and I can show you guys how to improve your beats. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking that, you know, I don't have the money to pay for these types of things and you, I'm in the same boat as you and it's crazy. It's crazy. I live in one of the poorest countries in the world and I earn $80 a month. Literally, I earn $80 a month. Last month, I paid for... Was it last month or the month before now? It was the last month. I paid for Chambers, of course, and, you know, that was over half, that was over half my paycheck. Lucky that... 
uh, luckily I still live with my parents, but then I only have th- I only had thirty dollars left for me to be able to sort out you know lunch every day at work to be able to sort out my own transport and you know it, it was a big financial investment. But then I don't regret this investment because it has taught me so much on making beats. And as I t- said before, after I paid for Chambers' course, there's a big improvement. I'll DM artists before and tell them that I have these beats for sale. Could you listen to them and tell me if you want to buy them? I'll get no responses at all. But now that I paid for the course and I listened and I took his template and I started making beats, uh, I started making beats using that template. More artists are now responding positively to the beats that I send them. And I think that this month I can have a couple more sales, which I will most definitely do a video about. So the question, the question is simple. If you want to be able to do this music thing full time, I personally believe that it costs a lot more than you than you using the free route. You need to take money out of your own pocket and invest in the knowledge that you need to gain. So I, I understand you, like a lot of you will say that I can't be able to do this, but I just want to tell you that I earn $80 a month, literally $80 a month. Month and I am trying to figure out a way for me to be able to pay for all these courses. Like sides, sides course costs fifty fifty dollars. By the time I probably have the money, it'll probably be a hundred dollars, and I would have to find a way to get a hundred dollars for me to be able to pay for that. Simon Savita, J Cactus, and Ocean's courses those cost three hundred dollars each. So that so does Kato's. Heat's course costs two hundred ninety five dollars. That's basically already over a thousand dollars in me trying to find money. That me trying to find money to be able to pay for these courses. So I believe that the best way for me to be able to do this would be through a mixture of my salary trying to sell beats and i'll be able to get the money so my suggestion is if you want to use the same route that i'm taking for 2023 try to find a way to get the money and then try to pay these producers for the knowledge that it honestly took them years to get and then they try to condense it to you for you so that you can have know the exact same things that they know thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video this was a very short video please don't forget to subscribe we're on the way to 10,000. so if you could help me get there I'd really appreciate that. If you want more FL Studio tutorials or you just want more videos of me talking, you can click on any of that pop up right in front of my face and I'll see you in the next video.